In case you weren't aware, I think we are a product of our own environment. Um, and I don't think a lot of guys tend to realize that as well, that the people that we surround ourselves with, or even just the environments that we're in in general, tend to shape who we are as a person. But what happens to those people who are in those environments that aren't beneficial to them, that aren't giving them the support and nurturing that they need to develop who they are as a person. So I wanna talk about the idea of what happens for those people who are staying in those negative environments to what happens if you change to an environment that is gonna be more beneficial to the things that you want to learn about and for how you wanna develop as a person as well. So I think what's probably easiest is I'm going to split this into two parts. And the first part, I want to look at the internal effects of the environment on a guy. So throughout our entire lives, we collect a lot of experiences, some good, some bad, but you know, ultimately we collect experiences that shape our memories. And whenever we then come across new experiences with something, those old memories get triggered. And for experiences where they weren't great, they then sort of tell us whether we should do something or not. It's where like the fight or flight effect can kick in. So let's say you've seen someone that you were attracted to, or maybe you wanted to go out and socialize and make new friends and you were rejected or people ignored you or people didn't want to talk to you, you might feel ashamed or embarrassed that no one wanted to give you the time of day. And so that negative experience, especially if you've maybe collected it a couple of times, might then say to you, you might then say to yourself, oh, maybe we shouldn't do this again because I don't want you to feel hurt or ashamed. And because of that, you will then avoid doing future events of things because you don't want to be hurt again. And this can be applied to everything. It's not really just with dating, but you know, maybe you've had uh, bad friendships, bad relationships, um, you know, parents that haven't treated you right, maybe you've been bullied, etc. But ultimately, you've had bad things happen to you in the past. And because of them, they stop you from wanting to do those things again in the future. Now, that can also shape your identity and your limiting beliefs. So with your identity, these bad experiences might then shape your personality as who you are in this very moment. So if people treat you like crap, then you might start just developing a personality that just accepts this bad behavior from other people. And with limiting beliefs, you might then think that this is all you are, that you can't change, you don't deserve to change. In fact, maybe you deserve to be treated badly. And all of these things will keep you stuck as the person who you are. And what can make it worse is that the environment that you're in can also prevent you from breaking out and developing a more confident version of yourself. So the environment that you are staying in can really shape everything about you. But does that mean though that you have to accept all of those behaviors and all of those beliefs. Now, definitely not. And this is why I love the, the whole integral eye movement thing, being able to detach those feelings from those old memories and experiences and even the limiting beliefs as well, because it gives you the ability to actually try to change. And even if you've got people putting you down, then, this is then where you have to change your external environment. So what can really make the difference with testing those changes, especially even after having the eye movement therapy or just any therapy in general, is that you have to change your environment. So this is where we can now look at the external side of things. 
what happens if you change your social circle and community? So we'll start with this first. If you change the people that you surround yourself with, so let's say you're now staying away from friends who are putting you down, not letting you be a better version of yourself, maybe they even bully you, then if you now move yourself into a circle of friends who are supportive, who want to be there for you, and maybe are even interested in doing the things that you want to do as well, then you are ultimately going to grow and be a better person. And you're gonna feel much happier in yourself as well. Um, consider even the idea of what happens if not just changing your social circle or the community that you're spending time with, but actually the environment as well. So this can change, this, this can apply, not change, but this can apply to um, your living situation. This can apply to your work. This can apply to, yeah, I, I suppose even the countries and stuff that you're in as well. But imagine then if you're in an environment that you aren't happy with, let's say at the workplace or maybe you are living with your parents and you're not happy with that, then also these could be the things that are preventing you from even trying to do new things with your life. So you have to then remove yourself from this environment and put yourself in a new environment. Now, what happens if you end up moving from one environment to another? Well, you are forcing your body to adapt to this new environment. And in a way, this is actually kind of why I like when people work with coaches or experts of sorts, because let, let's say, for example, you wanted to work on your physique, you wanted to get a better body, but if you're constantly staying at home or if you're constantly just going to work and stuff, and you're never putting yourself in an environment which forces you to learn how to do workouts or just even exercise in general, then it's very difficult to create that change. But if let's say you then put yourself in a gym, of course, you're gonna then want to lift weights, you're gonna wanna go on the running machine and so on. So by putting yourself in an environment, you can force change to happen. And it's the same if people wanna work with like a dating or relationship coach. If you're constantly in environments where you aren't meeting new people and you're not having the ability to have conversations or socialize or even the option to be able to go on dates with people, then it's very difficult to create a dating life for yourself if you're not putting yourself in circumstances that allow it. Whereas if then you are working with a dating coach, they might take you to speed dating events. They might even walk around with you in like museums and galleries or even on the street to encourage you to talk to people in environments that you aren't comfortable in doing. So by changing your environment, you are essentially also pushing your comfort zone. You are expanding yourself to, be, uh, to create a new comfort zone for yourself. So if you aren't happy with your situation at the moment, whatever it may be, I want you to consider, first of all, are you surrounding yourself with the right people that are giving you what you need to evolve. If not, then you need to change your environment by changing your social circle and community that you are spending time with. If you're unhappy with your environment, or if you're not learning the skills that you want to learn, such as being able to go on dates and, and find a relationship, then you need to put yourself into circumstances and environments that allow you to develop the skills so you can do that or put yourself in environments that allow you to meet new people. And overall, by making these changes, you will develop your confidence and you will become better. So 
it's obviously got a slight Darwinian kind of feel to it, but you know, it's it's true. If you can put yourself in an environment that you're not used to, then you will force yourself to adapt and change. So I hope this video was interesting for you. And I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, what aren't you happy with in your current environment? And if you did want to change, which I'm sure you do, uh, or if you wanted to learn something new, what is it that you want to learn and where do you feel you need to go environment-wise to learn it? I really hope that you do enjoy this video. Like and subscribe if you can. And if you are finding that you are struggling to make the changes that you need or put yourself in the right environments that are going to help you, then do reach out to me. I'm a life coach and an integral eye movement therapist, and I can push and hold you accountable into new situations and environments, as well as get you to challenge those beliefs that you've got that may be preventing you from moving yourself into environments that are going to be more beneficial to you. So thank you very much for watching and look forward to more videos from me coming soon.